Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. Pakistan has suffered surgical strikes again. Not from India this time, but from its western neighbour, Iran. It carried out aerial strikes in two places in Pakistan and did so just hours after a handshake between leaders of Iran and Pakistan in Davos. Needless to say, Islamabad is livid. But will it respond with force? Also, why did Iran strike in the first place? Why is their relationship with Pakistan strained? Tonight, we'll discuss all this and more. In the Red Sea, a new um, armada may join the fighting. The Europeans have finally woken up. And the war that triggered this crisis is spilling. Israel is attacking targets in Lebanon. Does it want to wage war with the Hezbollah now? Closer to home, new details have emerged about India's border standoff with China. Turns out Galwan was not the only skirmish. There were at least two more that followed. The Maldives is turning to Turkey for drones and food. What does this mean? Oil giant Shell is selling its business in Nigeria. We'll tell you why. France and China are struggling with shrinking populations for different reasons. Women's health gap costs the world $1 trillion annually, we'll explain. Why does an Austrian heiress want to give away her wealth? Is this a stunt? And why sibling rivalry is good for children? We'll tell you what science says, the headlines first. The US hails India's success story. Antony Blinken says Prime Minister Modi's policies have greatly benefited Indians. The US Secretary of State was speaking at the World Economic Forum. We see an extraordinary success story and we see the remarkable achievements uh, that um, uh, Prime Minister Modi has uh, a relationship between our countries that is in a new place at a new level. No such good news for President Xi Jinping. China sees one of its worst years of growth since 1990. Last year, China's economy grew at one of its slowest rates in over three decades. The property crisis, sluggish consumption and global turmoil have stalled Beijing's recovery. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov will travel to New York next week to attend the United Nations Security Council meeting. Lavrov will take part in a debate on the Israel-Hamas war. He'll also attend a meeting on Ukraine, which has been initiated by Moscow. Situation tense in Comoros, the archipelago island nation in the Indian Ocean. Police fire tear gas on protesters opposing the president's re-election. The opposition wants the results to be declared void. The president won a fourth term in Sunday's election. In 2023, cocaine seizures in Antwerp hit a record high. South American drug cartels often use the Belgian city to enter Europe. Around 116 tons of cocaine were seized in Antwerp last year. Most of it came from Ecuador. And this could be Ripley's Believe It or Not. A US-bound all-Japanese plane was forced to return to Tokyo. Why? Because a drunk American passenger bit a flight attendant and injured her. <laughs> 